good morning everyone today we are going to be discussing the femoral triangle so the femoral triangle is a subfacial triangular space which is located in the front of thigh in the upper one third region below the inguinal ligament the femoral triangle is an inverted triangle with the apex below and base above the boundaries of the femoral triangle are lateral border medial border apex base floor and the roof the lateral border is formed by the sartorius muscle the medial border is formed by the adductor longus muscle the apex is the meeting point of sartorius and adductor longus and the base is formed by the inguinal ligament now coming to the floor it is formed by a group of four muscles namely iliacus psoas major pectineus and adductor longus the point to be noted here the adductor longus muscle forms the floor as well as the medial border now you can remember the four muscles with the mnemonic ipa i p p a Coming to the roof, the roof is formed by fascia lata. Fascia lata is a modification of the deep fascia which is covering the femoral triangle. Now, the fascia lata has an opening called as the saphenous opening through which the great saphenous vein enters to drain into the femoral vein which is a content of femoral triangle. The fascia lata is in turn covered by skin and superficial fascia. The superficial fascia of the femoral triangle contains the upper part of the great saphenous vein, the superficial group of inguinal lymph nodes, femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve and the ilioinguinal nerve branches. Now, let's take a look at the contents of the femoral triangle. It contains femoral vein and its tributaries, femoral artery and its branches, femoral nerve, we have the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh, we have the femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve, deep inguinal lymph nodes, and fibro fatty tissue. Now in this picture, this is a cross section of the thigh at the level of femoral triangle. In this you can see the skin, superficial fascia, we have the fascia lata with the saphenous opening which is covered by the cribriform fascia, we have the contents of the femoral triangle and we have the flow muscles I, P, P, A. Now, if you look at the course of the femoral vessels in the femoral triangle, the femoral vein lies medial to the femoral artery at the base. As they come towards the apex, what happens? The femoral vein goes posterior and the femoral artery lies anterior to the femoral vein. Now in this picture, you can see they are all covered by a sheath which is called the femoral sheath. And in this, you can see the femoral nerve lies outside the femoral sheath and only the femoral vessels are covered by the femoral sheath. Now what is a femoral sheath? It is a funnel shaped tubular structure derived from fascia transversalis and fascia iliaca which are basically the linings of the anterior and the posterior abdominal wall. It covers the initial 3 to 4 cm of the femoral vessels. As it comes down it disappears by blending into the tunica adventitia of the femoral vessels. As it covers it, it also divides it into compartments namely medial compartment, intermediate compartment and lateral compartment with the help of two septums namely the lateral septum and the medial septum. So the contents of these compartments are lymph node of clocket in the medial compartment, femoral vein in the intermediate compartment and femoral artery along with the femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve in the lateral most compartment. The medial compartment is also called as the femoral canal. It gives the potential dead space for the femoral vein to expand. Now, the important clinical correlation related to the femoral triangle is femoral hernia. Femoral hernia is the protrusion of the abdominal contents through the femoral canal. This is called the femoral hernia. So, what is femoral ring? Femoral ring is the abdominal opening of the femoral canal. It is a site of potential weakness through which the abdominal contents enter. The femoral hernia is more common in females than in males because the ring is wider in females because of the wider pelvis. Thank you.